Welcome back, Wolfpack Rolls here, and we have a battle with Brandon, who is bringing us a doubles combo that he feels is one of the strongest he has used, and I love seeing it. So, let's see what Togetic brings. I mean, we've seen... I, people say it's Togetic, but I'll say Togetic till the day I die, anyway. So, we've seen this being used to set up a lot of Pokemon, and let's see what happens with the Mega Gallade this time. Mega Gallade is a Pokemon that has a lot of power behind it. I feel its main problem, really slow, and fair bit of weaknesses that do hold it back. So Togetic, there's the follow me. It's like, hey, everything's coming over this way, and you're going to ignore that dude that's going to blow you up. So Icicle Spear, going to hit the Togetic anyways, most likely, and it's good amount of damage with that super effective hit. Only hits twice though, and that's going to be a solid close combat. On to just that one shot with the Mammoth Swine. Filthy hit right there. Defenses are going to drop, but that kind of doesn't matter if you have another Pokemon taking your hits. And that's going to be Thunder Wave. Well, that's going back on Togetic, so you're not really slowing down the Glade any. And that could be pretty interesting. Now, Togetic does maybe want to heal up. That could be pretty beneficial to it. And we're going to see a Helping Hand onto the Azumarill. And Togetic's going to just follow me anyway, so... That means if that was like a play rough or something headed for uh, Glade... Not gonna happen. So Gallade with that Leaf Blade, going to be a super effective hit, but Zoomerill does not go down. Play Rough does miss, and that's going to be another Helping Hand setup. Ooh, this is interesting though. Togetic's going to use Follow Me again. We already saw the Gallade gets the Outspeed though, and there's the Aqua Jet. So actually, going to just absorb that Aqua Jet right there, and Leaf Blade going to land and finish off the Zoomerill. Mmm. That's why I guess we can say that like the play rough didn't really change this game too much because Togetic would have gone down, but Gallade still has the outspeed. And now it's Kangaskhan, Mega Kangaskhan, with that classic Cresselia support versus the Gallade. And I mean, all we have to do is just keep watching that follow me sharing. And so fake out, um, that's going to be straight on to Togetic and not going to be enough to knock it out. But understanding this, Gallade just goes for the close combat going to try to blow up the Kangaskhan, and of course it will, with that super effective, super high attack, um, crazy stab, yeah, it's just a lot of damage, so, Glade actually does have a solid kit to deal with a lot of the metagame right now, and Cresselia probably can't do anything, Helping Hand, it looks like it didn't even have too many offensive moves, like Moonlight, Thunder Wave, maybe an Icy Wind, and it just did not get much done, so, the battle's over, yay! Wow, okay, so that Glade really brings some power. I think it also just shows, you know, Togetic as a support Pokemon. We've seen it used almost every other week. Like, it gets a lot of show, and I try not to showcase it too much. But really, the Pokemon you put next to it, it just shines ridiculously. So maybe we might see some more Togetic coming up in competitive play. But overall, good, solid combo right there. Taking out one of the more standard things. I mean, there's a Cresselia, there's a Kangaskhan. What more could you ask for? I'd imagine this is also pretty high rated on the battle spot with that opposing team. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and we have one more Fan Fridays coming up.